In this video, I'm going to be trying five different types of coffee, flavored coffee. These were sent to me from Scarlet in Wisconsin. Thank you very, very much, Scarlet. Um, these are from Chocolate Chicken. Uh, that's a very unique name, I know, and uh, I like it, Chocolate Chicken. Um, they are in Egg Harbor, Wisconsin, and their website is www.chocolatechicken.com. And I looked on their website because Scarlett sent me five different uh, flavored coffees, but it doesn't, it gives the name, but it doesn't give a description. So I wanted to have a description to go along with the type of coffee. So we have Toffee Tantrum, which is like a chocolate toffee. We have Door County Cherry Chocolate, which is sweet and tart cherries with chocolate. We have Bananas Foster, which is ripe banana with caramelized brown sugar and a hint of rum and vanilla bean. We have Death by Chocolate, which is just an intense chocolate flavor. And Highlander Grog, it is butterscotch liqueur, caramel, and a hint of hazelnut. So that is the one I will be trying this morning, uh, Highlander Grog. Um, it, that sounds really good to me this morning, just the, the butterscotch, caramel, and hazelnut. So um, this is a 1.5 ounce package. Um, I know if you get on their websites, they actually sell them per pound. So you're gonna get a, a, a much larger bag and it's like $15, but, but you get a whole bag. So um, this is supposed to make, it says uh, brewing a perfect pot. This packet holds enough ground coffee to brew one 10 to 12 uh, cup pot. Um, I, you all, if you've watched my previous coffee videos, I always make enough just for me. So I can get probably, um, uh, three pots out of one of these packages and I got my scissors out but you know what I didn't need my scissors at all I was able to just it, it's perforated on both sides so I was just able to open that very easily and it smells so good I can't wait to try this I use a 1 8 cup and I already have my water in here So I'm just going to get this going and uh, I'll be back, but I can tell you right now, um, the smell is just, it, it's a wonderful, wonderful smell. So I can't wait uh, for it to brew to see if it fills up the room. I always like it when the smell fills up the entire room. So I'll be back in a few minutes. The coffee is, is finished and you it the smell does fill up the room so that's i i always hope for that uh, because you want it to have a, a a powerful smell a strong smell this does now i store my coffee in these smaller bags in just a snack bag that works for me and then i'll be able to make two more cups out of that and it, it's perfect so all i have done is i have put um my sugar in my cup and i'm hoping that i do not have to use um, any creamer that is the goal because as you all know creamer creamer is calories so i don't want to use calories the sugar packets have none So it's gonna be very hot. <laughs> I should probably, oh wow. I should probably um, stir it in and let it sit for a, a second off camera. Gosh, that smells so good. If you all could just smell that it uh, has a very, very sweet aroma. That's, that's what you get. It's like, um, like if you were to walk in my kitchen right now, you would think that we were using sugar, that you actually had sugar out and you were making something with sugar because that's what it smells like. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. 
that um, of course I did add my sugar packets to it before I tried it but that's a lot sweeter than I thought it would be um, I'm surprised I'm gonna I'm gonna admit it I'm very very surprised pleasantly surprised I didn't think it would be that sweet and it is uh, I like sweet personally I, I think um, I, I would much rather have a sweeter drink I mean I think that's why Starbucks is so popular is because uh, when you go there you get uh, most people get sweeter things you know you uh, most people don't go there for just black coffee you're going to Starbucks to get uh, your sweet drinks this is sweet this is the Highlander grog it is very very sweet um, if I made another cup I would still though add my sugar packets to it just because I like that level of sweetness in it um, it is not this is not a strong like wake you up in the morning type of coffee i mean of course you can have it in the morning but you know what i mean um a lot of coffees have a very intense flavor and this is not an intense flavor this is more of your sweet flavor that you could have any time of the day uh, it's just not really really strong I personally love it I can taste the caramel in it I can taste the hint of hazelnut in it um, it to me it is a very very good cup of coffee so that one's a winner so I will be trying I have no idea which one I'm gonna try next but stay tuned for you all it'll be just a few seconds and I'm gonna try um, a different kind Today I'm going to be trying the Death by Chocolate, which is supposed to be just, um, I think, just an intense chocolate flavor. And I love these easy to open packages. Uh, that's very nice, so you don't have to have scissors. Mmm, that smells really good. Uh, you could, um, you could have these at your office or wherever, and if you don't have scissors handy, uh, that's just, that's just always nice. Um, so I'm making this just like I make every other cup. I like to, um, I know I could, uh, go ahead and, and open the coffee off camera and then already have it brewed. And the reason I don't do that is because I like to take the initial, I like to take the initial smell, <laughs> um, on camera for you all just to let you know how it smells to me. And uh, this one, we'll see about this one. This one um, could be very, it, uh, hmm, <laughs> I'm trying to think of the word to describe the smell. It's almost a burnt chocolate smell. So, um, but I'm not gonna let that scare me. We'll see how it smells once it brews. Um, but it is, it is like a burnt chocolate smell. So we'll just have to wait and see how it comes through and uh, I'll be back. The kitchen does not, it's, it's not a, a very strong smell, but that's okay. I have already put my sugar in here. This one, this one is um, more bitter to me. It does have a, um, a bitter flavor. That's not, that wouldn't be a bad thing to a lot of people. This is probably one that I would not choose again. Uh, there's there's just something in there that 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 I don't care for it's not 
it's not like it's it's bad like i wouldn't drink it because trust me i've had bad coffee before this is not bad coffee this is just one of those flavors where either you you like it or you you don't like it either you're gonna choose it or you're not and i'm just it's just okay with me it's just it's just not one that i would uh buy scarlet was nice enough to buy these for me uh but if i were to buy it myself this isn't one that i would choose and that's shocking because it's called death by chocolate so you would think anything chocolate tammy's gonna like um but it, it, there's just too much of something in there uh it's let me take another drink Yeah, it's just too much of, there's some uh, spice in there, and I can't put my finger on it, but I don't care for it. If it were just like chocolate, that would be different, but I'm not even really getting a strong chocolate from this. It doesn't come across as, like if the name wasn't Death by Chocolate, and I drank it, I wouldn't know that that was chocolate. That's just me. Um, I like hot chocolate, like hot cocoa, um, love it. Uh, to me, this does not scream chocolate. So, we're just going to move on from this one and go on to the next one. Today, I'm going to be trying the Door County Cherry Chocolate Coffee. Uh, this is flavored coffee, and I'm wondering if this is like the Door County Cherry Chocolate Coffee. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know that doesn't make sense. Like, like Scarlett has sent me Door County Cherry Chocolate coffee. And I wonder, is like chocolate chicken selling this for, that doesn't make sense that they would do that, does it? I don't, I don't know. I'm wondering if this is gonna have, be the same flavor. I love that flavor. Um, it is very, very good. And uh, so it will be very interesting to see how this compares because I've had a lot of that. <laughs> I really enjoy it. Now this, um, this has a strong chocolate flavor. Um, I, I don't get the cherry fla uh, flavor, flavor. Um, this has a, a strong chocolate scent. <laughs> I don't know where my mind is right now. This has a very strong chocolate scent, but I don't get the cherry scent as yet, but maybe when it brews, I will. So we're just going to see. I'm hoping that chocolate smell is going to fill up the kitchen. And uh, so I will be back as soon as this finishes brewing. My coffee is ready. And it smells very, very good. I can tell you right away, this is uh, completely different than um, the uh, cherry chocolate that you buy at uh, Door County. And uh, so I'm, I don't understand the, that they put the same name on it, Door County Cherry Chocolate. This is different. Um, it's it's good it's very good but the difference is i taste the cherries in this it's um i like the the flavor of the cherries uh the chocolate is what's different i think um with with the i hate to compare them right here in this video but but i will uh with the door county chocolate uh cherry you get you literally feel like you are drinking a chocolate covered cherry. That's what it tastes like. It's a chocolate covered cherry in your cup. This is very good. However, it is lacking 
um, on the chocolate uh, portion. Uh, the cherry, I love the flavor of the cherries, uh, but the chocolate is just, it doesn't have that strong uh, chocolate flavor that comes through like the actual Door County. But I do like this. Um, I really do like this. I think this is a good cup of coffee. I don't know what I would call it. Um, I hate that that um, it's called chocolate cherry because you don't really get the chocolate. It's more of a um, of just a, a light cherry flavor. Uh, so they could call it cherry coffee. But I do enjoy this. Um, I don't want to make it sound like I don't like this because I do. I really do. This would be a flavor that I would choose again because I do like cho the chocolate covered cherries. Um, I like that cherry flavor in the coffee. And that probably sounds like an odd combination to a lot of people, but it really is good. If you haven't tried it, you should. Don't knock it till you try it. Uh, because it it makes for some very nice coffee. It's a very it's not it's not a strong coffee. It's one um, it's just one of those that you know after you've had a long day at work you might come in and you might have a cup of this just to settle down. Uh, it's that kind of coffee. Just a really uh, pleasing coffee. So uh, so not the same as the Door County but I still like it quite a bit. So um, I'll see you in just a few seconds with another one. Today, I'm gonna be trying the Bananas Foster, and I have a cheat sheet. It is ripe banana with caramelized brown sugar and a hint of rum and vanilla bean. This sounds absolutely wonderful to me. And it smells wonderful too. <laughs> That's, um, that smells very, very sweet. So I am, I'm looking forward to this. But yes, I, there, uh, something is very, um, very pungent. Um, I think it's, honestly, I think it's the banana. I, um, I don't think I've ever had banana in coffee before so this will be a first for me uh so that's awesome uh but i think what i'm smelling is that banana smell and i like it so um, i'm gonna let this brew and i'll be back and let you know what i think okay the coffee is ready I hate how it spits out there at the end. The coffee spits in the bottom of the, um, the, the maker, the, the, <laughs> the machine. I hate how the, it, it spits out in the bottom of the machine and then you, you put your pot back in there and you know that moisture probably isn't that good for it. Anyway, side note. Okay. Here we go. It smells wonderful. It really does. It smells, it smells different um, now that it's brewed than it did um, in its raw state. I'm sure that's completely normal. Mmm. And you do get the flavor of the banana. Now, I want to describe the banana to you. I'm thinking. <laughs> it's a really nice banana flavor. I've never, like I said, I've never had banana in coffee before. And I actually really, really like that. It's, um, it's sweet. It, uh, you get the flavor of the banana with the caramel. Um, this is one of those cozy drinks, you know, this is one of those, um, this isn't your get up in the morning and let's go to work and let's be perky type of coffee. This is, 
more of a um, let's get cozy and curl up under a blanket book. That's I've described other coffees that way. This is that kind of coffee too. Um, this is um, treat yourself uh, indulgent type of coffee. You really feel like this is an indulgent coffee. Yes, I really like this flavor. Um, it's not your normal normal cup of coffee. Uh, it's something different. I think you would like this. Uh, I would choose this again, definitely. And uh, so this one was a hit for me. So um, I'll see you in a little bit with another one. Today, I'm gonna be trying the Toffee Tantrum coffee. And I believe this one is supposed to be a mixture of toffee and chocolate. I think. Mm, it smells very nice. It smells, it smells sweet. I don't smell the chocolate, but I do smell the sweet. So that is good. That's very, very promising. Um, I'm going to get this brewing and put my, my sugar in my cup and all that, and then I'll be right back. I will tell you right now, the smell in the kitchen, it, it, there's a very, very sweet aroma in the kitchen. It's, um, it makes, it would make you think um, that, you're, that you're making something. Uh, it just smells very, very sweet. Mmm, that's, that's nice. It, um, it has a very pleasant flavor to it. It, um, the, the toffee, sorry, my nose itches. Um, the toffee is, um, not, not as strong as you would think. But this is very nice. It's, um, a little stronger than I thought it would be. Uh, I thought that it would be a little sweeter than what it is, so it's a stronger toffee. Um, it's a stronger coffee to toffee ratio. The coffee is coming through, and the toffee is like right under it. It is, um, this is a good coffee though. I like this a lot. It's just not as sweet as I thought it would be. You know, when you when you open the bag and you smell it initially, you think it's gonna be super, super, super sweet. And I added my sweetener to the cup, of course, but it's not as sweet as I thought it would be. That said, I would get this one again. This is a, this is a very nice flavor. It, um, it It's uh, smooth. And I do think this would be good uh, for any time of day when you get up in the morning. I think that uh, I think this would be a really nice cup of coffee to wake up to. Now it's not going to be that super powerful, uh, strong black coffee. But that said, I really I I, I like it. I think it's good. Um, and like I said, the toffee's not that strong but it's still there. You would definitely miss it if, it if it weren't there. So, I've gotten all of the coffees back out that uh, Scarlett gave me because I have tried five of these now, and I wanted to tell you my favorite. Uh, of course, you all probably have, uh, have guessed my favorite. Um, I'm gonna say my favorite is the Highlander Grog because it, it was the sweetest. Um, I enjoy sweets, you know. Um, I enjoy, uh, when I drink coffee, I sometimes like to feel like I'm being um, indulgent. And Highlander Grog makes you feel like uh, you're just being a little bit naughty with your coffee because it is so sweet. I, I enjoy it. And then my second favorite would be the Bananas Foster. Um, I really like that banana flavor. It, um, it's very unique, I think, to have banana in coffee. I, I 
personally had not had that before. Really enjoyed that. And then my third, I'm gonna say, is the toffee tantrum. This this one right here. This um, that is it is a very nice cup of coffee. So, but uh, this uh, I like the chocolate chicken. I think it's a, it's a great name. It was very good coffee. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Scarlett, thank you so much for sending it to me, for introducing me to something else from the great state of Wisconsin. I appreciate it. I'd never heard of it before. Uh, they do have a website for anyone who is curious, um, but they only, as far as I see, they only sell these in one pound bags. These uh, are 1.5 ounce bags. So you can get them in a one pound bag, which is gonna be, it's gonna cost you more, but you're gonna get a lot more of it. Uh, I saw on the website where they do actually serve chocolate. They serve fudge and stuff like that. So I clicked on the, the shop now link and it says coming soon. They have like apparel coming soon and they have chocolate coming soon. So I'm gonna have to watch their webpage uh, to see what you're able to buy online as far as like fudge and other kinds of chocolate goes because I love fudge. I love my sweets. You all know that I can't get enough of stuff like that. So um, that's something to, to keep an eye on is that tab on their website. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I did an okay job describing everything. I feel like I'm very, very inadequate <laughs> when it comes to um, making these coffee videos. Um, I just hope you all get something out of it. And uh, so thank you for watching.